Good morning, I'm Anya. And I'm Sophia. It's a lovely sunny day here on Condrick Road, Stamford. Yes, we are currently outside number 60, where a brave and courageous soldier used to live. Today we are going to talk about a young soldier called Harold Goodley, who fearlessly fought in the war. Now, who really was Harold Goodley? Well, Harold was the son of Eliza and George Goodley. He lived here in Stamford, but travelled to France to fight in the war. Unfortunately, he died there on the 27th of October 1916, at the age of just 19. He died of wounds, and his name is on Stamford Board Street plaque. He was buried in Somme, France, where he fell. Well, the original fire station was in Eastgate, which is now St John's Ambulance Service. But then it moved to Scotgate, which has now been demolished. demolished. Anyway, it is now currently on Radcliffe Road. If you want to find out about the old fire brigade station from World War One in Stamford, then I have just a thing for you. In Stamford Library, which is in town, there is a very special book called Stamford Fire Brigade 1888 to 1988. It contains the names of the firemen and all the emergencies they had to see to. Look, here it is now. Also, unlike nowadays, the firefighters in those days used bucket chains from wells or rivers instead of hose pipes, hand pumps instead of switches and ladders for spirited volunteers. Also, the fire engines look extremely different now as they did then. Take a look for yourself. As well as that, look at the crest for the fire station now for, compared to the old one. They must have liked the design. They look very similar to me. This book has information about Harold Goodley, so if you're wondering about what the firefighters look like, here's my granddad, who is still alive today. Bye for now!